Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be making three easy breakfast ideas. And the first one up is peaches and cream oatmeal. So to a small saucepan, we're going to add five peaches that are sliced up, one half cup of coconut milk, a half a cup of water, and a fourth of a teaspoon of stevia. Then we're going to give that a little stir, bring it to a mild boil. Then we're going to add in our rolled oats, one teaspoon of coconut sugar and one eighth of a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna give that a little toss and we're gonna let it cook on low, uncovered, for about five minutes, stirring it constantly. Next, you're going to just simply remove it from a pan, add it into a bowl. And at this point, we're gonna add our cream, so we're gonna add a little bit more of coconut milk and the toppings here are optional. I have some slivered almonds, some coconut chips, and hemp seeds. And that's it for the first breakfast idea. Next up is something a little uncommon in the vegan world, raw buckwheat groats. First thing we're gonna do is soak one half cup of raw buckwheat groats. Once we're done soaking them, we're gonna drain them and add them to a food processor. Also in the food processor, we're going to add 1 to 2 tablespoons of coconut nectar, depending on your sweetness, 1 fourth cup of plant milk, and then we're just going to process that until it's smooth. Then we're going to add it to a bowl until it's nice and creamy, just like this. And just like our oatmeal, our toppings are pretty much whatever you want. I chose to use some diced apples, a touch of cinnamon, and some fresh blueberries. And that's it for our second breakfast option. Last but certainly not least, we have a classic tofu scramble with toast and grape tomatoes. The first thing we're going to do is add about a tablespoon of veggie broth to a pan, one minced garlic clove, one tablespoon of diced onion, and one to two baby bellas. We're going to saute that up and then we're going to add in one block of tofu and you can just crumble that up right with your hands. Next, we're going to add about a teaspoon of turmeric and a half a teaspoon of either sea salt or black salt. Definitely recommend the black salt on this one and a pinch of black pepper. Then we're going to scramble that all up and adding nutritional yeast is optional but recommended. And that is it. This is what I did when you have toast. A lot of people do avocado, but for me, I just prefer a classic almond butter, but you can use jam or whatever you want. And that is actually sourdough bread. I chose to pair this with grape tomatoes because they are one of my favorite tomatoes. Uh, when I was younger, I would go to the garden with my grandmother and we would pick cherry tomatoes and eat them right off the vine. They are so good uh, to each its own. Uh, it's optional, but again, I definitely recommend it. I hope you enjoy these and I hope this helps you on your plant-based journey. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you like videos like this and maybe I'll make another one. See you next time. Bye!